Hello, my Sagittarian friends. It's Guiding Halo here, and this is going to be your love reading for July 7th to 13th. If you have liked, shared, and subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. If you have not, please do so. I'd appreciate it. If you leave a comment down below, I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, this may resonate, may have happened already, it may happen, something, maybe something that's coming up. Timing is fluid. If we all had Divine's time and knew what was going on, well, wouldn't that just be something? <laughs> just saying. All right. Let's see what we got going on for love from a Sagittarian. Sagittarian love for second week of July. Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. A time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. This came out in your last week's reading, too. The Empress. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. Something you thought was dead in the water is becoming back. Or something you thought was stale and stagnant is having a rejuvenation and it's going to bring absolute victory Something that perhaps before there was cheating, lying, stealing that you got some information about. Or maybe you were thinking about just getting out while the getting's good. There's going to be new energy brought in here. A time of positive change. This is beautiful. Tell me about this wheel, please. What's this wheel of fortune about here in love from us Saggies? Oh, this one? Oh, take this one. Oh, a well, a welly, welly. It's about a soulmate. Or you could be dealing with your children. Someone might find out their prayers. Okay, now not every Sagittarian is going to find out they're pregnant, so don't go nuts on me in the comments because, oh, I'm not pregnant. Well, you know what? Nor am I. <laughs> I'm not Sagittarian either, so whatever. Anyway, all right, so here we go. Tell me about this Empress. Ah, new decisions, new contracts. You have the world in the palm of your hands and everything you need to make this choice and this decision. You're going to be cutting out the BS, I see. It's the end of a cycle, start of a new one. The divine is stopping something that's been going on and is starting a new one. I don't see that this is a, oh, what do I see this is a, definitely new contracts coming. What else we got? My studies. End of a cycle, start of a new one. Yeah, someone felt very much left out in the cold, but there's two people in that five of pentacles. Perhaps the divine's walking beside you and you don't even see it, hmm? Moving away from rough waters to calm waters, possibly taking your child along. Maybe you've wanted to end something for a long time. You've been holding on to something for a long, long time and you've just given up the ghost and said enough. I'm just so done. Moving away from rough waters to calm waters with a lover, possibly. Possibly this soulmate of yours, you and he have been having a very hard time financially. Supporting and dealing with money and issues in a love situation home and you're putting down the burdens where that's concerned because the wheel of fortune is spinning and it's going to be the end of you feeling out in the cold financially my friends and I think you're taking your love along for the ride we got the lovers here so this is about a commitment the love that's decision the divine is trying to bring two people together are you concerned that the other person in question here might be a snake and might bite you from behind? There's definitely been sadness before. We got the Empress here though, or someone who's very abundant. Give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Crying over spilt milk, not seeing the beauty of the blessings that are behind you. My nose is darn itchy, so this is gonna resonate with somebody, let me tell you. Yeah, and it's about the Two of Cups. It's about love. It's about two people agreeing that they have mutual love for each other. The Divine is bringing together here, or has brought together so far. And somebody is going to embody some magician energy. It's divinely guided that they do, and they're going to create a magical scenario that is going to bring in the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe the divine is going to bring in the wheel of fortune to change this scenario from grieving to pleasing. Let's see. 
And we have a stable home environment. This new portal that just opened energetically, uh, summer solstice, I want to say, is going to bring in a lot of new energy and a lot of new situations, new energy that we can actually take and work with to create new things that we never would have imagined we could do. And I think a lot of people are going to be doing just that. Things that they never imagined they could ever do or have before are going to start falling into your life. And it's kind of going to blow your mind to see you going into hermit mode about it. Definitely. Perhaps there's an ending to something that's been going on financially, and it is the Wheel of Fortune, but maybe you don't see it as the Wheel of Fortune. But this definitely has to deal with your soulmate or children or someone you've been in business before with the divines coming in, stepping in to change your trajectory. So these people were in a grave before. They are no longer. They are awake. They are alive. They are ready to go. And something you thought was dead for yourself something you thought you could never be again, something you thought you could never have again. Maybe that's love for you. Maybe you never thought you'd have love again. Well, the divine stepping in to change your mind about that, to change the trajectory of the path you're on. So we have, when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or a pedicure. So what this is telling me is when this comes in for you, it's going to be a blow. It's going to be a bit of a blow to your mind and your heart. You're going to be happy. You're going to be excited to finally come out of the cold, come out of this with maybe you feel like the divine's left you just hanging forever. Well, divine's changing that, my friends. You're going to need your energy because it's been an absolute bloody battle. I actually think you're going to fight this, this contract the divine wants you to take up. It's going to take great strength for you to accept it. That is for certain, but it's divinely guided you do. Absolutely. So something here needs to be dealt with and the divine's bringing it back. But things are not as they seem. So if you're all up in your head and you want to fight it and you're like, it's going to be a bloody battle, things are not going to be that way. Okay? Trust me. The divine's saying so. Yeah, you've been stabbed in the back before, but things are not as they seem. Maybe this is saying that things are not as they seem and don't go ahead rushing headlong into a situation. But I see that your Ten of Pentacles are coming, or this could be an ending. <clears throat> Maybe after this ending is when the, or the Divine is bringing this ending, spinning that Wheel of Fortune so that you can finally be set free, finally come out in the cold and the Divine can head you to the person that they know you should be with, or head you into the situation that the Divine wants you in to become the person you need to be, hence changing your trajectory of thought process. And how you view things. Walking away from emotional stress. Five of Pentacles. Someone's definitely been feeling out in the cold. Yep. Feeling backstabbed. Left out in the cold. Standing there holding the money bag and the money bag's empty. Someone took advantage of your finances, your heart in every way. The Wheel of Fortune's coming in to change that for you. And it could very well be in the form of love. Definitely in the form of relationships, and a new home stable environment. That's the divine bringing that to you, my friends. Why? Because you've done the work and you deserve it. The divine doesn't bring stuff to people, you know, that don't deserve it. All right, I'm going to talk to you later. Blessings to you all. Let me know if it resonates.